family is from Durham, North Carolina, but we live in Beijing, on the 25th floor of a large apartment building in urban Beijing, which lets us gauge the pollution level by how far out the window we can see. Air Quality Index, or AQI, is measured in terms of a unit known as PM2.5. The PM stands for particulate matter, and the 2.5 is referring to micrometers. So PM2.5 is a measurement of the occurrence of airborne particulate matter that is less than 2.5 micrometers in diameter. These tiny particles are the most harmful to the health of our lungs. There are six different levels of AQI that are used internationally to categorize the danger and warn people being exposed. This is what it looks like from my point of view on a day labeled good, where there is no cautionary statement. Here is a day labeled moderate, where the cautionary statement is aimed only at unusually sensitive people. This is an unhealthy for sensitive groups day where the cautionary statement is aimed at more sensitive groups of the population, like younger children and elder people. This is an unhealthy day, where the cautionary statement says that the general population should limit too much exposure or too long being outside. This is what it looks like from my point of view on a day labeled very unhealthy, where the cautionary statement says that the general population should limit all exposure. And if the pollution ever gets to hazardous, the cautionary statement basically says, don't go outside. I'm not allowed to go outside if it's over 250. Do you like sports? Yes, I love sports. And how is it living in Beijing if you can't always play sports? Um, sometimes it feels really, I, I, it makes me really mad that I have to miss some of my sports like soccer practice or soccer games because they could be really important for some or another reason. So it's Monday the 11th of November, the beginning of our adventure together. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice day in the low moderate bracket with nothing to worry about. At 7 a.m., around when I wake up, the AQI is only 61, a good day for Beijing. As the day goes on, however, we move from a moderate 60s level to an unhealthy 160s level. Tuesday comes along, and we start our day at an AQI of 152 at 7 a.m. Towards the middle of the day, we move from unhealthy to moderate, only to go right back into the 160s range towards the end of the day. Here's a little peek at what the roads in Beijing look like at night. This is a major highway, and it's not rush hour. It's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Wednesday morning brings us to the darker side of Beijing, at 205 in the morning and making the hazardous mark by 5 p.m. It's, it's hot, it's like hot to explain unless you live in like a polluted city you know you wake up and you're like oh it's another one of like these days and yeah you're just used to it um, um yeah when i go outside and it's gray it makes me feel really gloomy and um sometimes i have a bad cough or i feel a little dizzy when i do sports i feel as if i have to be compensated by not being not having to do anything all day i don't like it by the time I woke up on Thursday, the pollution had gone from over 300 to below 100, only to go back above 150 later in the day. It then stayed at around that level for the whole of Friday. Now just look and see how much the pollution really affects the look of the city from my point of view. Friday didn't end too well. The weekend, however, then went on giving us blue skies, a shining sun, and healthy air. So if Beijing did not have pollution, I would probably like it more, but to be honest, I actually like love Beijing no matter what, like I think the pollution is part of Beijing, like that's what you get if you're here, you can't change that in like a day, so. I feel like it like completely 
um, degrades my opinion of it because Beijing's supposed to be a really cultural place, but it's so bad, like the pollution's so bad that it's just, it's all spoiled. Well, it makes it look really ugly most of the time. I mean, there's amazing architecture here, but you just see it with gray and it just looks uglier. Okay. Well, it makes me want to move. Our second week starts out cold, but pretty much just like the weekend. You can even see the mountains. The pollution stays in the good and moderate levels all day for Monday. Tuesday starts off just like Monday, but then we end the evening in the unhealthy zone. Wednesday carries this on with an unhealthy morning and a brighter patch in the afternoon, only to return back to unhealthy. Thursday is no better than Wednesday was, and you can see the pollution lingering in the distance. From very unhealthy to unhealthy, back to very unhealthy. Now we're ending our two weeks together in a very grey and dull way. Um, my mom has this kind of mask thing and she she rides she uses it when she rides her bike and she says that it works because like the dirt and stuff and all the stuff it collects on like the outside and you can clean it and stuff so she sees this dirt on it and she's like well that's if that if I didn't have this it would go into my mouth we have like these air purifier things like these big kind of like boxes in our house they take up a lot of space and they're quite expensive but yeah we have two of those Beijing's pollution comes from different sources, including vehicles and coal burning. The best things you can do, wherever you are, include turning off lights and other electronics when they're not in use, and being careful with your heating and air conditioning.